Well, they couldn't argue well, with well, anything that was said. Would you let him speak? I'm especially excited to be here representing Ronald. Well, she was. Great it's just there's very few people that will stand up and do it. And there's no guy that has no passion. There's no enthusiasm. There's as much passion as anybody else. Somebody said something in their mind. Okay, you're speaking your mind right now. You're bothering people around you. Okay, this is the Republican Party. Don't tell us to not speak. We're not cursing. Hang on. We're not cursing. We're not saying anything derogatory or disrespectful. We're also not lying. I can't tell you. You're probably, you are probably am, huh? the hundredth person in the Republican Party that has told me not to speak. No, no offense, sir. I appreciate your meeting answer, we go to. but no. Legislative Is district meetings, 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 county meetings, we are told to shut up and go away. We are told that we do not belong in this party. I think you all know that I got into no, no, but you came over here to tell us to please shut up. First part of that is to make sure the somebody else I has received I respect your suggestion and okay. the water is declined. I went for your time. All right. Fought that issue. She can't join you today. She has a little uh, connective disorder uh, problem with her joints. I've noticed that her swift kick isn't as bad as it used to be, so it's, it's good for me. All right, tell me what happened. Well, the gentleman came up to me, I guess it was um, Ken Bennett, the Secretary of State, and, um, told us that we should be quiet. We were responding, as the rest of the crowd was, to the speakers um, talking either for Romney or um, Ron Paul. And I told him respectfully, no, sir, I will not be quiet. I've been told by um, folks in the Republican Party ever since I've joined this party to shut up and go away, and I will not. I've been told because of my libertarian leanings and my different viewpoints that I should go to another party, that I shouldn't speak up, but I will not do that, I will speak. Um, he asked me um, why couldn't we show the same um, passion that we show for Ron Paul for Romney, and I told him it was about the issues. Um, I asked him if pro-life was important to him, and he said it was. And I said, well, how can you support a candidate that is as wishy-washy as Romney on pro-life? Romney is only pro-life this week because it's convenient for his political race this week. Um, he had no answer to that. I asked him about NDAA and the indefinite unlawful detention of American citizens and he said he didn't support that. And I said, well, if you don't support that, how can you support a candidate that does? And again, he had no answer. Mm -hmm. um, I told him respectfully but that no, I will not shut up and I will continue to speak my mind at any opportunity. So do you think that's pretty bad when elected officials at the Republican convention tell us to shut up? I do. Um, I mean, we vote for them, don't they? Don't absolutely. We? He's my servant. He shouldn't tell me what I should say and when I should say it. He should respectfully listen to me. He, we work for him. And that, that's the whole, I'm sorry, he works, he works for, for us. us. Yep. Uh -huh. And that's the problem, is they do think that they're special and they think that they've got some influence. And the fact that they think they can come up at this convention and tell us to shut up. And to tell us to stop supporting our candidate and tell us to shut up. Amen. And that's what I asked him. I said, is this not the Republican Party? You're going to come up here and tell me my free speech. I was being loud, but I wasn't saying anything yeah. disrespectful. I didn't say yeah. any curse words. I was vociferously expressing my speech, in my opinion. And to have an elected official come up and tell you that that's not a good idea, that you should be quiet, I, yeah. that's the whole problem with our party. The Republican Party used to be for free speech. It, it's not anymore. Okay, well, thank you again, and hopefully we don't get any more elected officials harassing you today. Become a PC. That's right. Thank you.